Hello folks, uh, Pete and Chip here, and we are at one of our favorite places in downtown Guelph here in Ontario, and it's called The Ox, uh, owned by one of our good friends, uh, Mark Rodford, and uh, one of our favorite places for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and maybe even a few uh, refreshments late at night. And we wanted to invite you here today just because we're going to have some conversations about leadership, about faith, about work, and just some of the things that we've learned the hard way, uh, we want to be able to pass them on to you and uh, let you learn them a little easier way. So the first one that uh, Chip, you and I have been talking about uh, that's really crucial for people, for uh, leadership, uh, whether or not it's in uh, the corporate setting or at home, is the capacity of a leader to model the way. Mm -hmm. To be able to set the example, to be able to uh, lay out a path for others that they can see that what is being asked of them, the leader's actually willing to do it themselves. Yeah, and I find that so huge because, you know, what I say is one thing, but people pay way more attention to what I do than to what I say. And it speaks volumes. If I say something's important, but I don't back it up with my action, I don't model it for people, they have no idea that it's important. And it lacks conviction. Well, and I think, to, to your point, one of the things that we don't do well is that we don't count the cost of not setting the example. We don't count the cost of what's the impact if I don't model the way? Does it, have, does it matter to the team as they watch? Does it matter to the people that are looking and wanting to know, hey, is the pressure that's being brought to me to change, to learn, to grow, is my leader really willing to do that? And we are unaware of the noise that, that creates in people's minds as they watch a leader who does not do what they said they were going to do. So what does it mean to model the way? So if I'm a leader, what do I need to do to make sure that I'm modeling the way for my folks? I think it's, uh, I'm really clear on what it is that I need to do. I'm really clear on the impact and the value that it is to them, to me, to the business. I'm really clear on the, the cost if I don't. And I'm really passionate around why it is that I need to model this. And it's not just a facade or a veneer that I put on, it's from the inside out because it's really important. Mm. So I literally then am uh, taking the time myself to make sure that I'm demonstrating the behaviors for people in a way that they will see me demonstrating the behaviors and not, I mean, this is one of the interesting things for discoveries for me as a leader saying I don't have to demonstrate the behaviors perfectly yeah for what sure. I'm modeling literally for yeah. people is I'm modeling learning the behaviors on the job getting better and literally even sometimes inviting people in as I diagnose things that go poorly and say okay what would I do differently how would I do that more effectively the next time right it's well, a yeah I, I think uh, your point is is a, is a significant one if if we wait to set the example when we're perfect at it, then we've missed a whole opportunity of enrolling the team with me. Because they need to see me work at it. They need to see me uh, do the road work, so to speak, of getting better, because that's exactly what they're gonna need to do themselves. Mm -hmm. So that's a crucial step, that we just get started, and we learn and grow, and we bring them with us. Mm -hmm. So when I think about a content like uh, pull conversations, and saying, so how do I do pull conversations well, when I am modeling the way for that as a leader, right, then what that looks like is it looks like me consciously demonstrating those behaviors in the conversations that I have for people and even commenting on it afterwards to the, my team who may have heard it, who may have experienced it. So they're it. aware. So they're aware. Yeah. And so they see me learning the content on the job, right? Yeah, exactly. And even learning the content back at home. I mean, the beauty of this content is that it applies at home, at work, right? in uh, my community, the uh, things that I'm involved with. It's beautiful content to practice anywhere I am. Yeah. So I think as you're, you're listening to this dialogue around what it means to set the example, to uh, be a model, our invitation is this, that what is one behavior that you know you'd love to see happen more in your team or maybe in your home? And what can you do more to help set the example so that those that are with you see you doing the good work, see you doing the road work, see you putting out the effort and the energy with passion and clarity and focus so that um, it actually enrolls them into where they are demonstrating the behavior that you want as well. You're modeling the way, you're setting the example, you're being the model. And one of the keys in this is say, so learning any new behavior is difficult. It's gonna take you time and practice and effort 
And don't be discouraged if you don't get it right away. That is part of the journey. And part of what you wanna model for people is that even when we run into barriers, roadblocks, we persevere, we keep going. And because you will get it, it just takes time.